Hello! So, it is time for another language challenge and we will be doing a screen time challenge and this will be a co-challenge with uh, Pages of Emery on Instagram and they have been uh, hosting this as a reading challenge periodically and uh, so I suggested that we kind of join forces and do a hybrid challenge where you can use this for a reading challenge or a language learning challenge or some combination thereof and yeah i think it will be a good time so the idea is that you look at your screen time for the week before the challenge or any week of your choosing and you base your uh, kind of goals for your daily uh, or weekly language learning based on that screen time now this can and probably should be modified many different ways. For me personally, my screen time is way too high to be able to do this uh, straightforwardly. Like there are things that I use my phone for that don't really like count to what you traditionally think of as screen time. And then also I just have really high screen time. So what I have been doing for the reading challenge is using my Instagram screen time. So I'm not sure what it's like on Androids, but on iPhones you can see how much time each individual kind of app or sometimes even website is taking up out of your screen time. So for me, Instagram is usually the most and the only one that I'm really using in the way that we would traditionally think of screen time, you know, not just like having something on to listen to it or, you know, Google Maps or whatever. Um, so for me, Instagram would be kind of my problem app, but I do want to emphasize this is not about like vilifying screen time. I would say for me on average, like the internet and like my phone and everything, I do think is kind of a net gain for me. Like overall, I do think it's, it's a positive thing generally, but I do sometimes find myself getting caught up and spending time that doesn't feel positive anymore or doesn't feel, you know, edifying or whatever you want to call it. And I'm, I'm not spending as much time on the things that I do enjoy. And so that's kind of what I want to focus on. I also find that when I have been scrolling a lot, my uh, focus is really poor and I struggle to like read for extended periods or anything. So that's my primary focus, but you can do this for whatever motivations to whatever intensity that you would like. Again, this could be modified infinite ways and it can also just be logistically done a, a bunch of different ways. You can kind of take the hours from each day and do like a one-to-one -one thing where you say, you know, my total screen time or my app screen time that I'm using or whatever was one hour and 47 minutes on Monday. So I'm going to study or read or both for one hour and 47 minutes on this Monday. It was six hours and 35 minutes on this day. So I'm going to do six hours and 35 minutes. Um, I have done that before and I do think that it's very interesting to see how that varies throughout the week. Um, but for me, it's easier and I think ultimately more effective to just use the average. So that's what I'll be doing using my average Instagram screen time every day. And you can also try to make up lost time if you don't hit your goal for a day or you can just try to reach the goal every day and if you don't reach it you don't have to make up that time you could also get really creative with it if you want and assign like one app to a skill or to a resource or a book or whatever it would be that you would want to do you could say like um, instagram is reading time twitter is uh, textbook time and um, I don't know reddit is television show in my target language or something like that for me my main focus is just going to be Instagram to attentive language learning time so I'm not going to count in my hours uh, things like listening to audiobooks on my commute or listening to like Dreaming Spanish at work or something like that because although listening to Dreaming Spanish at work does add to my <laughs> screen time, you know, I'm not using that screen time. So, you know, I really want to be focusing on taking time that would have been available for mindless scrolling and using it for this instead. So 
you know, I'm not actually that worried about my screen time unless it is uh, replacing something that I'd rather be doing. I may, as we get closer to the time of the challenge, get uh, other ideas about specific things that I want to do. There are templates that uh, Emery has created for the reading challenge that we did modify to make them a little bit more neutral so that they could be used for language learning or reading or both. Those will be on their story. Uh, highlights and I will probably repost them temporarily on mine as well just so that they are available there. You can use them obviously you totally don't have to um, and I'll fill out an example one for that as well for what I'm doing. If you do not want to track your screen time or I don't know if all phones are capable of doing it, I assume they are, but if for any reason you don't want to use screen time feel free to just set goals. You can set time-based goals or just track your time if you don't normally do that and see where you end up. You know, I always want to make these, you know, projects or challenges something that works for you, not that you have to work for it. So whatever will be beneficial for you um, and allow you to, you know, get some additional structure or additional motivation or inspiration for your routine go with that. So I would love to hear your thoughts and plans for the week in the comments and definitely check out uh, Pages of Emery on Instagram and I will see you uh, for the challenge.